Hello, I'm Brenda Hunt. I'm the Watershed Program Manager with the Carson Water Sub Conservancy District, or CWSD. CWSD participates in education and outreach in a variety of ways. We work with our partners and the Carson River Coalition Education Working Group to plan, coordinate, and fund regional level activities. Today I'm going to focus on our watershed literacy program efforts to educate our community and encourage them to act in ways that benefit water quality and the health of the Carson River watershed. I'll cover how we started, what we've achieved, and next steps we are planning. Let's start with a brief overview of the Carson River watershed. The six counties listed comprise the watershed and are members of CWSD. It's a Carson Water Subconservancy District. The Carson River is on the 303D list of impaired waters under the Federal Clean Water Act and is listed as a priority watershed in NDEP's Nonpoint Source Pollution Management Plan. The coordination of water quality protection activities within state, federal, local agencies, and tribes and the implementation of educational activities for Nevadans about water quality as related to nonpoint source pollution are goals outlined in NDEP's plan. These goals are consistent with CWSD's mandate from the Nevada Legislature, the Carson River 208 Plan, the Carson River Watershed Adaptive Stewardship Plan, and our Watershed Literacy Program. The Watershed Literacy Program has been years in the making. It started with the CRC Education Working Group and the questions relating to how do we start to measure the success of our educational efforts. As you are aware, most grants these days want measures and SMART goals. We have so many amazing environmental educators and partners doing incredible work. We felt we needed to look at what everyone was doing and find out where the gaps might be. Our brainstorming sessions culminated in a Watershed Literacy Action Plan adopted by CWSD in April 2015. The plan called for a watershed-wide survey of our residents to be conducted to learn about their attitudes and awareness levels. This baseline survey was jointly funded by NDEP and completed by our contractor Responsive Management in June 2015 with a Communications and Marketing Plan follow-up. So in 2015, we worked with our partners and our contractor, Responsive Management, to conduct the statistically relevant watershed-wide survey of our residents. So the telephone survey was conducted to determine Carson River Watershed residents' knowledge of and attitudes towards watershed health, knowledge of basic watershed concepts, and participation in activities or behaviors that may impact the watershed environment. Only residents in the Carson River watershed area in both Nevada and California ages 18 and older were surveyed using both cell and landlines. The sample size was 846 respondents, which is statistically relevant. Um, the sampling error was plus or minus 3.36 percentage points. Survey categories were as shown here. Cross tabulations were conducted on a variety of questions and some of those results will be highlighted in this presentation. The full survey results are available on our website, but let's look at some of the key results. So when residents were asked if they currently live in a watershed, 62% of the people either didn't know or didn't think they lived in a watershed. When asked where water ultimately drains from their property, only 9% stated the Carson River without prompting, and 87% of the residents did not name the Carson River as the ultimate location that receives the watershed's runoff from precipitation or watering. The survey indicated that once people were informed about what a watershed was, they cared deeply about protecting it, with over 75% of residents giving it a score of 8 or above, as you can see on this graph. When asked how much they affect the health of the Carson River watershed, 
70% of people either didn't think they affected the health of the watershed or they affected it just a little bit. This indicates the disconnect from what the cause of non-point source pollution is, you and me. So after the survey was conducted, we worked with our contractor, Responsive Management, to provide further cross-tabulations and recommendations based on the survey. This culminated into the 2016 Watershed Literacy Marketing Communication Plans and a second Environmental Education Roundtable. So the marketing and communications plan yielded recommendations to do things like develop the recommended themes and taglines, centralize all marketing and communication across the Carson River Coalition so that anything produced has a consistent look, brand, and message, develop high quality mail, email, and telephone database of all target audience for future marketing efforts. Focus on local newspapers as the media of choice. And that was very interesting. People were, when we did the survey and asked people where they got their information, they suggested they got it from the newspaper as their biggest, um, as the highest result. It's been five years now, so it'll be interesting to see if that's still the case or if social media has now taken over. The other things were uh, explore the possibilities of getting information on the Carson River watershed into water bills of the of watershed residents. Take full advantage of social media, that type of thing. So all of those recommendations. So with these plan recommendations and the survey, we met with our environmental education folks at a second roundtable in April 2016 to review and prioritize messages. The key overarching message for the campaign was to connect residents' health and quality of life to the health of their watershed. Key associated messages were reducing runoff from property can improve water quality in the watershed, protect the floodplain from future development, and the Carson River watershed is the source of our drinking water. There were many other messages that came out of the recommendations and the roundtable discussions for priorities, but these were deemed the critical ones to start with. During the floodplain protection session on March 17th, we will show one of the floodplains as community assets videos that was created through by CWSD through FEMA funding and support. So we developed and began implementation of the Watershed Literacy Program, including the I Am Carson River Watershed Campaign PSAs and Watershed Moments. The following are some of the deliverables from these efforts. So remember we learned that 62% of our population didn't really know what a watershed was or, what that, or that they lived in one. So we started thinking about ways to address that issue. One project that had been discussed for years was to sign the Carson River watershed. This seemed like the perfect opportunity, so we partnered with NDOT, the Nevada Department of Transportation, to place watershed signs at our boundaries. The signs say entering Carson River watershed and state the adjacent watershed going the other direction, so entering the Truckee River watershed or entering the Walker River watershed, for instance. This has only happened in the Nevada portion of the watershed to date. We have plans in the future to approach Caltrans to complete signage in California as well. Another labor of love has been the Carson River watershed map. We updated the map locations and icons, created a watershed timeline, and created a Spanish language version in both physical and online versions. The updated watershed timelines provides historic information about significant events that have affected the river. The online version allows new events to continue to be added. When you click on the pins, a picture and, a spe and specific information appears about the topic, whether it's related to places, life, or activities. We also worked with Sierra Nevada Journeys, a local nonprofit education group, to develop a K-8 curriculum that uses the map and meets the Nevada academic standards. 
Teachers are able to access the information by going to the URL that's on the slide. Our flagship campaign, the I Am Carson River Watershed Campaign, launched November 2019, a few months before the pandemic started. Working with our partners and Neon Agency, our contractor, we worked to make the campaign logo something that looks iconic and personally connects residents to the Carson River Watershed. The logo was also created into a sticker. The backs of the stickers provide information on what people can do to keep pollutants out of our waters. With easy to understand icons and a call to action, we are hoping this campaign will become Carson River Watershed's corollary to Lake Tahoe's Keep Tahoe Blue campaign. We were able to partner with 16 water purveyors throughout the watershed to send out these stickers and an introductory note to 37,000 residents in their water bills. We are starting to see the stickers on the backs of cars and on water bottles. Help us make this campaign go viral. Please contact me if you'd like a sticker or would like to hand some out to your offices, classrooms, or businesses, etc. The logo has also been made into a GIF that can be linked to the I Am Carson River Watershed Splash page. We continue to ask our partners to put this GIF on their websites with the link so people can access the films and any new content as it's created. In August 2019, we worked with Neon Agency to film a walk through the watershed. The film travels to 24 spectacular locations throughout the watershed and asks viewers to do a few simple things to protect the quality of our waters. Carson Pass, shown here, was a challenging place to film. The rock top was narrow with cliffs on either side. While filming at the Carson Sink, it was about 100 degrees. Vanessa Vancouver was amazing to work with. She's bilingual, making filming the Spanish language version easily accomplished at the same time as the English version. The films are available at imcarsonriver.org and on our Carson River Watershed YouTube channel. I'm just showing you a picture of the start of the Walk Through the Watershed film. You'll get to see the actual film in the next presentation from Jolene Cook with Neon Agency. The campaign splash page again highlights what is on the back of the sticker. It takes you to the English version of the film and provides a clickable link to the Spanish version and to CWSD's website through the Learn More. Soon these icons will be links as well and I'll discuss that in a couple slides. Finally, what are we planning for our next steps? If you are with us during the premiere of this outreach and education session on March 3rd, you've just been privy to the sneak peek of our new public service announcement, Water Connects Us All. This PSA focuses on protecting our drinking water. The formal launch of this PSA is scheduled within a few weeks and will start with a media blitz using traditional media and social media. We'll ask all our partners to share our Facebook and Instagram posts and to place links to our splash page on their sites. We will continue to seek partnering businesses, including our water purveyors. In addition to this new film, we are working with our contractors to create 15 30 second PSAs that specifically target non-point source pollution issues. These short PSAs, officially dubbed Watershed Moments, will target specific actions we've asked each of you to take in our previous films. In addition to those actions pictured here, Watershed Moments will be professionally created to include things like picking up trash, directing your gutters to your landscaping or a rain barrel, car maintenance, and other non-point source issues. The focus will be on creating fun ways to show people the actions they can take to limit non-point source pollution. Then we plan to ask the public to submit their own versions of watershed moments. We think it will be a fun and creative way to see people taking actions to limit non-point source pollution. Lastly, when all this information is out there percolating throughout the watershed, we plan to resurvey watershed residents in 2022 and 2023. 
This step is critical to assessing our efforts, seeing where we need to increase information, and honing our messages. We will need everyone's help to succeed and are hoping everyone listening will share this information widely so we have a consistent and repeatable message reaching our population. Please note that our partners in the Nevada Division of Environmental Protection's Water Quality Planning Bureau jointly funded this work with Carson Water Subconservancy District. We could not have done this all without their professional and financial support. Thank you for listening, and if you are seeing this during the premiere on March 3rd and have questions, please join us for, this, for the live question and answer Zoom call at 11.30 a.m. on the link you were sent. Otherwise, enjoy our following presentation. Thank you.